Hello Cancer, welcome to your energy reading and this is for the second half of January. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest, okay? So let's see, we're going to pick three cards and we'll see what the energies are like for you. And then we'll pick another three cards um, to see what the energies are like for the end of Jan, right? So if this message resonates, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you need uh, more guidance for your own personal growth and development, you can always book a private session. Details are below this video. Okay, so let's see what's up here for you. The underlying energy is four of cups. What's happening, Cancer? A little bit of energies of apathy going on. Hmm? Feeling, trying to feel into it, right? A little bit of apathy, a little bit of feeling uh, stubbornness. Okay, nine of wands. The world. King of swords. Okay. You're keeping your boundaries very clear with regards to a particular situation. Um, you're quite guarded at the moment, but you're coming to an end of a cycle, even though when, you know, you think guarded. I think I get a feeling of uncertainty, and maybe that's why you are very guarded. Um, it's it's not a bad thing. <clears throat> it's not a bad thing because when you are feeling guarded, you are also reminding yourself to keep your boundaries clear, to be resilient to whatever that's coming up because there's a huge change coming up, end of one cycle, which is you know which can be really really exciting, isn't it? When you end one cycle. Now, the reminder for you is to, you know, uh, stay in integrity. Integrity is very important as you enter this new cycle, even though you're feeling a little bit apathetic, like, you you know, almost like you can't be bothered. But at the same time, maybe it's the outward appearance that you're showing the world you can't be bothered. But, you know, you do care very deeply within. And if you stay within integrity, you know, you, you get the you will get the um, perhaps the support of other people around you and things will look up, okay? Things will get better. I'm interested to know, you know, what is this four cups? What is the um, apathetic feeling? What's going on there for you, Cancer? We have here home. Okay, as, as something to do with home. What's happening on the home front? Maybe on the home front, you, you're not feeling, you're feeling like things are stale. Maybe it's time for you to do something about it. Or feeling tired, feeling woof. On the home front. Right, or the other thing also I'm picking up is some of you may need to look towards home for the kind of support that you feel is lacking in other parts of your life. Okay, so nine of wands here, resilience, coming up twice. So you are asked to be really resilient at this point because huge changes coming up. So watch for it. Uh, Ace of hunters, this is prosperity energy. And we have enthusiasm, which is opposite of apathy. So, this is encouraging you to be a little bit more enthusiastic as you're ending one cycle, entering the new. Now, I'm curious to know what are the energies like for you by the end of Jan? How, how will cancer be like by the end of January? What, the feel, what is the feeling like? Or what are vital energies that cancer needs to watch for? Okay. Let's see. We have seven of pentacles, okay? So seven of pentacles is about resting, okay? Resting, maybe time to harvest, but rest, let things... Yeah, I mean, I would highly encourage you to rest. Since you're entering a new cycle, it would be important to get the rest that you need. Ah, oh, this judgment. Judgment. So you are reevaluating. You're evaluating things that are 
happening in your life before you enter the new cycle. But interestingly, the new cycle takes place first and then you are evaluating. <clears throat> um, end of the month, you're evaluating. So you may not, yeah, I think you're just weighing things, right? Like trying to see the direction you want to go. You are trying to make a decision as you enter this new cycle. And we have three of swords. Let's see what's the next one. High Priestess. Okay. So three of swords really is about... Um, hmm. What is it that you're upset about? Three of Swords is about grieving, letting go, grieving. So you're letting go of something, you're entering a new cycle, you're evaluating, and then you're letting, letting go of something and feeling really uninspired. But these are two major arcana cards. So a high priestess really is, you know, asking you to be a little bit more aligned with your spiritual guidance. Um, I would say do some shadow work because the shadow work will really show you what is it that is not balanced within yourself, that you are not, yeah, you're not looking at things. Because if you don't do shadow work, it's very hard to evaluate things, very difficult to really grasp what exactly is going on within your consciousness. Everything just seems so... Um, it's, it's easy to avoid. That's the that's the problem, right? I mean, if we don't go into the shadow, then you may feel energies, depressive energies coming up and you, and you don't know why, right? So use the energies of high priestess to help you to see how you can work on some of the, um, in the unconscious, some of the shadow energies. Let's see what else. Four of wands. Okay. Four of wands. Hmm, okay. Coming into harmony. Page of ones. Possibilities. Okay. Okay. All right. So here, a little bit of sorrow, grieving. You're asked to align with your unconscious, do the shadow work. And then when you go into... When you go to four of ones, you come into greater harmony within yourself. And page of ones, you know, will take you further. Will take you further in your learning, in your journey, in your path. So everything feels like it is maybe at this point, you know, the feeling, the feeling I'm picking up quite strongly, cancer for you, is like you're not sure where you stand. It's like you're neither here nor there. You are feeling like Nothing you do seems to be inspiring, at least to you. It may it may inspire other people, but you can't see it and you can't sense that, right? So um, keep a focus on home, energies of home within yourself. Um, allow, keep the boundaries clear. Stay in integrity no matter what is happening. Okay, and then. Um, yeah, I feel the shadow work is so important. That that may be your breakthrough, Cancer. Breaking through um, any seen or unseen energies that may be, you know, blocking you. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers from this deck and see what comes up for you. What is it here? Uh, we want a more specific direction for cancer here, for shadow work. What is it that cancer needs to look at? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. What is it that cancer needs to look at? Okay. So something is troubling you something a situation is making you um yeah so hanging on so let it go whatever it may be because you're coming to the end of the cycle this says 
end of cycle, right? So you need to release, you need to start new, you need to what allow whatever is bothering you to just let it go. Allow yourself to go through the transition and then watch what transforms. Hangman. Okay. So hangman is about looking at things from a different perspective. Right? Try looking at things from a different perspective. Then you won't feel so apathetic. Then the energy is not so low, not so, um, yeah. Do the shadow work, get a new perspective, and use the magician. Magician energy. Magician energy is about using your resources, manifest, and then you move ahead. Okay, let me see. We have judgment. We have high priestess here. So it's the magician energy that you need. Okay, what else? Okay, so three of swords, feeling loss. It may not be a loss that you're looking at, you know. It may be something that you just need to let go. And sometimes losing something helps you win. Okay, Cancer? Don't allow yourself to give in to... Okay, it says your trauma. So what I feel that some of the things that are holding you back is your past trauma. So that's why the shadow work is so important. You need to go deeper into self-healing. Because without that, you will find that... Okay, another judgment. Okay, so we're confirming, right? Judgment energy really is about evaluating what's in front of you right now. So you might want to take the next two weeks as a time to go into like mini self retreats. Ask yourself, what is it that I really need to to bring about greater balance in my life? How can I have a new perspective? How can I heal some of the things? Give me some time to heal to go into, to work on my trauma, to look into my emotional pain, okay? And then I feel that after this month, right, things are going to look up because it says here, right, we have the page of wands. Page of wands is excitement. Page of wands is possibilities, but you need to go through this difficult, uh, it's difficult, right? I mean, that's part of the human experience is to go through the difficulty, but you see the light at the end of the rainbow, Cancer. So let's see. Let's get an inspiring message here for Cancer from the angels. So Cancer, if you need more specific guidance for your journey, you can always book a private session, okay? Details are below this video. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Good advice here for you, Cancer. So Cancer, have a wonderful second half of January. I will see you very soon. Work through your shadows, okay? The unconscious is really nagging at you and you need to work through it. If you have not done any shadow work before, very important for you to be able to do that and recognize it and own it and then take flight. Go far. Have a wonderful rest of the month. Bye for now.